We are back with some new great stuff. Today we are excited to present you the Jamie layout pack. Here is an example Jamie page. It's a pre-made page designed for restaurants. Shaving you just so you can get a quick general impression on the Jamie design. It's a fun design with soft colors and simple yet effective animations. Of course, make sure to check all other Jamie page layouts. To start using Jamie, install the assistant plugin first, then import the layouts and you are all set. Let me quickly walk you through the installation steps. Go to plugins and then click add new. Click upload plugin and then browse button. Navigate to file you downloaded and make sure to unzip it first. Inside this zip, find the Jamie assistant plugin zip and then click open. Then click install now button and wait until the plugin is installed and of course make sure to activate it. Jamie assistant plugin also requires an API key to be activated and to do that click click here link. You'll be taken to Jamie assistant dashboard page and API key tab and here you need to add your API key and API email. If you don't know what your API key is, log in to dividend.com website and go to my account API keys page and you're going to find it there. After that you'll be taken to get started tab, please make sure to watch all the recommended videos here and also to go to our knowledge base and to read all the documentation. System status and troubleshooting tab is basically a table with all your service settings listed here and if you see a warning sign instead of the OK status anywhere here, you will probably want to fix that and you can do that by contacting your hosting support and you want to let them know uh, what's the recommended value for the configuration option where you see the warning sign. And there's a help tab if you need any further help you can submit your support request here. Next thing we want to do is to go to Divi, Divi library and import all the Jamie page layout. We want to click import then choose file. Once again navigate to files you downloaded and this time select Jamie master JSON file. Click open and click the import button of course. There we go and that's it. Now we can go to a page. Uh, let's create a new one and let's for example name it Jamie example page. And here we can click layout and select your saved layouts. And here's of course all the Jamie layouts that we can choose from. Let's for example choose the restaurant page layout that we've seen earlier at the beginning of this video. Now let's just publish the page and make sure that everything works as expected. And there it is, there's our page. Another way to use the Jamie layouts is using the Dividend On Demand plugin. It's the plugin you can get from our website. Uh, you can download it for free of course. And once you install the plugin, go to settings, then Dividend On Demand. Here from the dashboard menu, select Jamie Collection and only the Jamie page layouts will be shown. Another important thing here is to have the Jamie Assistant plugin installed and activated and of course API key activated as well. If you want to save a particular page layout, just click the save button and it will be stored in the Divi library so you can use it later on a page. That's it, thanks for watching!